guys and welcome back to my channel to my returning subscribers thank you guys for joining me once again and thank you so much for your support and to anyone who's new welcome welcome it's nice to have you here with me today guys i've been missing hey i've been missing not for that long but in my books because i want to be very what's the word what's that word 2000 years later consistent i want to be consistent with how much i post and i want to always like post at least twice or once a week let's switch once or twice a week but mentally it's just been a little bit of a lot actually going on over here so i've been a bit off and i haven't honest, i honestly haven't felt like filming or doing anything literally other than laying in bed and eating and sleeping which is very bad for your mental health um you should obviously you should sleep you should eat and you should have any time but you shouldn't be you shouldn't be what you call it eh? you shouldn't i'm saying so you shouldn't <laughs> you should not be isolating yourself in, in, in a negative way man um, and you should be doing more productive things to get yourself happy again. So, as you can see by the title, this is a get ready with me, get ready, get ready with me, <laughs> get ready with me assumptions video. Um, and guys, honestly, I am like I can do my makeup, eh? but on camera, I've never tried that on camera. So, so please bear with me because this is not a tutorial. Like I would say, if it was a tutorial, and me, I personally don't think I'm at that stage in the game to say land is a tutorial so I like, look this is how you do this this and that no I am just gonna do my best to say my beat my face I think I'm gonna do a soft glam I'm not even sure what I'm doing <laughs> but but I'm doing my face so like yeah so guys while I do my eyebrows because those were these are very stressful things for me to do and I don't even know how you talk while doing your eyebrows. Um, but yeah, while I do my eyebrows, I will speak about how important it is to make sure that mentally you're healthy, dude. Because, yeah, it's dangerous in there. Like, people, I always say, my favorite spot is not here because so much goes on in there and the thing is no matter how much you try distract yourself i guess because i have so many distractions that i could use i don't really count social media as a distraction because social media can also be a trigger so i guess it is a distraction in a way when things are going well on social media and you're enjoying what's being spoken about on social media otherwise you know with regards to the gender-based violence and all of that yes we need to hear about that we definitely need to hear about that and everyone needs to hear about that it needs to be spoken about and it must be a constant constant dialogue um but obviously now it plays on the mind it's 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 it will stress anyone out and it's supposed to because it's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable because why should so many people be suffering and why should people be quiet about it you know so it's things like that um that will obviously be a little upsetting to see on the timeline or whatever um but other than that i think social media is a, is a, is a fun place like twitter you are twitter guys <laughs> i like it there i really really like it i don't even know if my eyebrows are okay to move forward with right now because I can barely see what I'm doing because the flash is so strong on my eyes so now when I look at myself in the mirror I still have those spots and I cannot see what am I doing I forget that I'm gonna put on concealer now oh and by the way me I, <laughs> this is funny I use a baby toothbrush thing instead of a spoolie because it just it just works better for me like i have the spoolie but i really don't use it because 
I prefer this smell. I feel like one eyebrow is more arched than the other, so I'm gonna have to. But I'll fix it with the concealer anyway. So yeah, um, it's good to have distractions. Um, make sure that you're floating, you're keeping your head above water. Because once you sink, okay, it's like, what did I do? This is not the. T oh, I lost my lap. <laughs> but yeah, now is not the time to 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 to. What did I say? Oh yeah. Keep your head above water. It's very important. Cause it's not nice to sink, guys. It's not nice to sink. I'm not saying that I was sinking in the past few days, but I really wasn't. I wasn't present really, and I'm also looking for a job. So now it's just the thing of I graduated in in when I graduated in April, and I wasn't supposed to be in South Africa this year even, and now corona came in you know all of that it's just that's what bothered me about this whole situation but anyway i want to move into into wow into the assumptions about me now obviously i don't know these off my heart and a girl is gonna now have to multitask on it multiply okay multiply multiply multitask to read out these assumptions as well as answer them so the first assumption is you know I remember this one off by heart because it's it's from a song and I think this this child this child is is, 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 is pulling my leg by saying this but then also saying something sense ignore that uh, once upon a time not long ago you were she was a hope you were a hope <sighs> anyway that's the assumption hey guys you know all I'm gonna say about that one is that first year university is like and as you see first year university guys it's lit new people new place well technically not a new place per se for me because i've lived in pe all my life but new not even new area because i've been in summer strand before <laughs> new new surroundings well not new it's just new people okay and even nmu wasn't new surroundings for me because my mom's friend who i'd couple with to to school would be would um what would be is a lecturer she's doctor something at at nmu so she when we'd have to like do projects and stuff she'd let us do them at her office on campus south campus so i've known south campus for maybe i knew it for like a couple of years before i was in first year so it wasn't new to me in that sense no but anyway, yeah, man, first year was exciting, it was great, it was a good band, it was a nice time, new friends, you know, freedom, steady raise, don't ask me how I steady raise when I'm from Port Elizabeth, my mama just does things, shout out to mama. Anyway, so yeah, I stayed at raise, so now I'm new at raise, and you know, freedom is great, and yeah man that's all i'm gonna say about that it's just everything is very very easily accessible yeah. it was great man it was great I enjoyed it it's dense sometimes but uh, enjoyed it very much that's all i'm gonna say about that episode. next one is you don't like cooking i'm not gonna lie i i, I can cook right but I can bake and if you had to put the two in front of me and tell me would you rather cook for the rest of your life only or would you rather bake for the like this is a stupid analogy but like bear with me excuse me so would you rather cook for the rest of your life or would you rather bake for the rest of your life I would rather bake for the rest of my life because I'm an amazing baker I personally bake better than my mother she cooks better than I do obviously and I bake much better than she does and I like I like my lane and I stay in my lane 
here at home to be quite honest like i've literally probably cooked twice since i've been here and i've been here for a while man <laughs> it's been a long time <laughs> so yeah no i've been here for a while um but it's fine it's really fine uh so it's not that i don't like cooking i do it's okay it's okay all i'll say is it's okay uh, i prefer baking over cooking it's just what i'm better at like my baking flow is literally it flows like the, the word what's the word insinuates mm -mm. you know me and big words sometimes i need to just chill with the big words because even i will lose myself but at least that I, at least i know that i'll never um commit that thing man i forgot what it's called i'm very close to the kitchen okay so if you hear dishes i mean um malapropism when you use a big word that sounds like another word but it means something completely different i think that's it <laughs> i hope it is because now if i got that wrong you dance 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 um but yeah no i like i like baking third assumption i think this is like third out of 11. so now the third one is you can fight hey guys so funny funny story funny story literally was it last year yeah it was last year yeah i went to parties and i hit two men but hey man they're being disrespectful and the thing is one tried to fight back at a point but then no this is the third one at another event never mind i don't beat people on purpose it just happens and the thing is i don't like being disrespected like don't walk over me i'm not your doormat man so if it, like i i literally made that promise to myself at the end of second year i think i said that was my news resolution for 2020 2019 i said i'm not gonna let it happen like was a bad one because clearly that's the only way to get through to some people so yeah um those are the only fights that i've been in the last time i was in a girl on girl fight was primary school grade seven and Uma girl just she hit like that and like you're hitting my head so first of all bit nonsense and then you're hitting my head and you're giving me a headache so i was already like really really annoyed bro man just one two and it was over so i think i think i've got hands and i believe i've got hands because oh, my mom has my mom scares me i've had to i've had to, oh, had to hold that woman back before and it was difficult this was difficult because she was in the mood and the thing is ne? it's like I, I i i noticed it from the one time i wanted to hit someone at a party at like a chillers man and someone stopped me um i was very annoyed and and now I realize how strong when you're angry, you're strong, bruv. You're literally rushing forward because you're trying to teach somebody a lesson. I'm not even gonna like heavily apply the uh, foundation, foundation because like there's no need. In in my opinion, there's honestly no need. But yeah, guys, going on to the fourth assumption. Just putting some of this stuff on my hand. Guys, it looks it's a, it's very brown. I'm not gonna tell you the real color of this thing, but I promise you it hasn't been used that much since it's been cleaned. Um so don't worry. I, I like my skin. As you can see, my skin doesn't look bad, which means I'm treating it well enough and that means taking care of these things. Eh? And also don't go, don't look at the way that I apply my, my whatchamacallit, because it doesn't mean anything, literally, like, <laughs> what works for me works for me, okay, so please just leave me alone. <laughs> okay, did I say the fourth assumption? Oh yeah, fourth assumption. Thought you were an airy person, but actually, you're actually in tune with your emotions. 
yeah guys a lot of people have that assumption eh? and it's not even like it's said out loud it's 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 insinuated hey, i know that one is perfectly placed now it's insinuated in in like the way you react to how i what's this how i speak about certain things how i handle certain situations so people will be like almost shocked that oh this is how you feel about something this is how this is how you are and they won't say it out loud but come on i studied psychology so like like i know i know what i am doing i am not daft i can tell I, like body language facial expressions and it's, it's like fleeting things man quick quick things but i can see by you were thinking very little of me at that point like open at that moment oh so holy at that moment but it's cool it's cool this wig is not down properly in the front so excuse my raggedy hairline if you can see it shame it's not raggedy raggedy but like i have to bleach my hair tomorrow my actual hair and dye it again yeah, did i say tomorrow wow i am being very forward like i'm actually gonna do this tomorrow <laughs> wow but i need to do it soon i meant you know but yeah that was the fourth assumption uh i am not i'm not an airy person because as she says and she can see that i'm in tune with my emotions like my name means love and like i'm a very emotional person and i am an empath as well hate it but it's how i am and you know i think it's it's a blessing and a curse and i'll take i'll try um what's it focus more on the blessing side of it of being an empath because it's not cute shim, at times because people's other people's emotions are very overwhelming when you're already overwhelmed with your own imagine now you have a mental illness and then you're still dealing with the fact that you can feel as a bro no it's not cute at times but it also helps you become a person that like you understand people man very well and you can be there for other people but you must always take care of yourself before you take care of others so yeah that's my take on that first assumption you're a big softy, so you're actually a big softy. So, so along the like, same, along the same lines as the other one. And yes, guys, I'm a softy shim. I, I previously would like to have thought that I wasn't, or I am not, but I am clearly lying to myself. So yeah, no, I am a softy. Like I'm so sensitive, a decades at the same time, and it's honestly a very annoying mix, but. I am a very very big soft. Like, I am like a teddy bear. Like if you want love, come okay, here. Put your head on my very flat chest, and I will I will be there for you. But yeah, no. But also don't take advantage because that's just rude. It's just rude. So, anywho, moving swiftly along, we are Taylor. Jealous down. Deadass. Straightforward schizo like be a trailer guys and the thing is my mom once told me i need to be careful because someone's gonna hit me one of these days she said this to me in grade 11 that's been it's been six years now i got the entry so all good all good and I'm, I'm proud of myself not proud of this gizzle i'm proud of the fact that i've managed to be smart enough not to gizzle certain people or not to tell us certain people in order to not get hit by certain people but hey i've i've, I've colored some people um that i shouldn't be coloring but you know what's great about that that person was never gonna hit me it was never gonna happen you know why because me my ways man like people people know sometimes not to to try fight here because me i've always said one thing i've always literally i've always said the same thing over and over again i've always said is that even fine? sorry we i've always always said that if we're in a fight obviously an altercation starts me personally all i'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna wait for you. And the thing is, if I bow all, if I bow all the fights, man. If I'm angry to the point where I really want to hit you because you have gears as, as well, not even that like a starting, I will bait you with my hands behind my back. This is very bad. Don't do this to my kids. I will bait you, and <laughs> and if you decide to take the bait, hit me. First of all, you struck first. Sounds bump. <laughs> If my face obviously ends up messed up. If you don't mess up my face, we're good, man. We're really, really good. What am I doing? I just said I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so if, if you mess up my face after you hit me first, I'm taking you to who? To the whoops. You know? I'm taking you to the whoops. And I'm like, if you say, bah, I pointed you. I forgot what the word for that is, because there is a word for that. Me, I'll find a way to dodge that. Ne? And then also the fact of... If I hit you first, like, that is rare. That is very rare. Not really rare, but like, it's very ish. If I hit you first, Best believe I've got my ass covered, hey. Yo, yo. <laughs> Don't play me like that. I've got myself covered. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna claim temporary insanity. And I believe it's gonna work because there's a, there's a, it exists. Otherwise, here I am in my final form. I hope it looks good on camera. I don't have my hectic flashback. If I have hectic, hectic, if I have hectic flashback, guys. Please excuse me, because like I said, this is not a tutorial, and I was personally just doing my face for my own enjoyment. And if you're gonna judge me, that's okay. People judge all the time, but don't be me. But yes, guys, um, hopefully I'll see you soon with another video. Just let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to see. Um, I'm really open to talk about anything, and I'll take your suggestions into consideration if you do suggest something. Or I'll just come up with stuff this very very over imaginative end of mine. Also what was I gonna say? No guys, there's nothing else for me to say. I hope to see you in my next video very soon. Like very soon. I don't know what it'll be yet. I have like a story time in my head that I might tell or I'll just wait until moving day. But I think that's gonna be a while still. Or not. It's gonna week I think. So um, I will see you then. It's ciao for now and thank you so much for coming. Please do like and those of you who are new, please do subscribe. I would have hoped that you did that in the beginning, but if you haven't, please do subscribe. Ciao for now.